Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California and welcome to another pot of fame. I've now done this series on the channel for over a year. Maybe it might be two years. So give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. It is October 1st and believe it or not, I feel like it's in the 80s. It is so, so hot that I am wearing a bikini top for today's video. Who knows? For November's check-in, I may be in a pullover. You never know with Santa Monica weather. In today's video, I'm really excited to sit down and share with you a handful of plants that are doing really well in the collection. And this is like the perfect growing season for plant babies this time of year with the humidity and the warm sun. My plants are thriving. So I'm just gonna highlight 10 because if I just sat here and talked about every single plant that's giving me new growth, I would have to be here all day and night. So I hope you guys enjoy the 10 plant babies in today's video. I try to pick and choose different plants from the collection, um, but there are certain plants, especially if they're rare, if they are giving me new growth, I like to always highlight them on the Pot of Fame series. The Pot of Fame series is fun for me because I get to sit down and highlight plants that maybe don't get to be shown very often unless you see it on a plant tour or a top 10 video. And also, shout out for my art skills for making these beautiful monster earrings. I just made these. So if you guys are interested, I make these cool earrings along with my resin art and you can find all of the things that I'm making on my resin art Instagram, jewel underscore of underscore Hawaii. And I can make them in any color if you're interested. So I thought it'd be appropriate to wear it for today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. One of the plants that are doing good in my collection, I'm a huge fan of peperomias. I have one more other peperomia that I want to share for today's video. This is the Ruby Cascade. One section of it fell off, so there's a bunch of random things in my fountain if you watch the vlog channel whenever i'm filling the fountain you may see what's currently growing in there one section fell off i put it in the fountain and it's growing so i'm just gonna let it be there but this is now living once it was on the wooden bench behind the fountain and now it's living on my tiffany blue table and look at all the beautiful new growth like so cute this reminds me like if the string of hearts had a baby with a peperomia, you would get the ruby cascade. Sound off in the comments down below. If you have this particular baby, do you find it to be easy to grow? I definitely know that it likes the humid environment, so it's probably living its best life right now in Santa Monica this time of year. This is so cute, but tons of new grow, and it's just so adorable. It's very tiny, like the string of turtles the new little growth so i wanted to highlight and also this is the first time i've ever seen this but take a look at this it even has the signature rat tail bloom. how cute is that it is so so cute i never knew it could grow a little rat tail bloom so that's so adorable oh my goodness so cute so if you are on my patreon you would have already seen a picture of this i will post it today but by the time this video goes live uh, my patreons would already see the photo so so cute i love it a lot very fun peperomia to have if you collect peperomias you might want to try to find this one if you don't have it this for me is considered on the rare side it's not like a baby rubber plant which i'll share in a second of tusifolia is more common i see it here and there at garden centers but this one not so much this one maybe i see maybe once or twice in a nursery in my area so it's rare for my me. My Peperomia Pusifolia, I also have a variegata, a variegated one, both doing really good. Look at the signature rat tail blooms. All of my Peperomias have these rat tail blooms popping off right now. I know even my ripple in my bathroom is full of rat tail blooms. Lots of new growth here. And in fact, I just went to Tanya's house last week and I shared it on the vlog channel that she is like, doing really great with her baby that I gave from this mother plant it's actually like almost looking similar to maybe half of the size of this so shout out to Tanya for giving my baby a nice patio shaded lighting and I gave that to her for Christmas so that's the cool thing about plants is if your plant babies are large enough you can take from it trade gift and sell and I always like to share that on the channel so yes I did give my plant friend Tanya a section of this plant for Christmas and now that was like ten and a half months ago and you can see like the plant is still full so it didn't hurt the look of the plant I really love the baby rubber plant enjoy doing really good this is living in Lekka on my plant shelf in my studio 
lots of new growth and this particular plant is very dramatic with me I've had the plant maybe two or three times nice and full from my local nursery and for whatever reason I don't have much luck of it so this is what's left of it and I am just having it live in Lekka full time and look at all of the growth so this is definitely a testimony for Lekka certain plants they will just live uh, especially like my variegated plants Hoyas do really good in Lekka so every now and then like I'll stick a few plant babies on the shelf in Lekka and just let them live there but this is one of the dramatic ones that have to live even my Marble Queen Kotos also doing really good in Lekka in the same area. I want to say this is a Philodendron Florida Ghost. Correct me if I'm wrong. This was unidentified when I got this plant. And I want to say I've had this in my collection now for maybe two years. I'm actually going to stake it up because as you can see, there's lots of aerial roots here. So I'm going to look on my potting bench and I will stake it up. That is so fun. And as you see here, there's a little baby. Like look at this. And then a new leaf. So this was actually living in my bathroom on the plant shelf. But it got so large where I ended up bringing it on my shelf where my humidifier is. Uh, right in my little living room area on my DIY shelf. And so far so good. But when I do leave uh, for Las Vegas or travel, this comes outside in the patio. But doing really well. But that's so cute to see. There's a baby right here. Oh my gosh. That is... So fun so very fun update and I will stake this and then let's see it give me larger leaves and more growth so cute and I believe like when I purchased that plant it was part of like one of my birthday plant hauls it was so tiny and then now it filled out so that's really fun so let's talk about five plant babies that I got from subscribers through trades and this is a very fun update I've shared this in my weekend check-in on Thursdays this is a tricolor and I did a trade with one of my subscribers. I think she's in Washington. And this is from her mother plant. And this is what's all that made it. So that's the thing with Tritoscantias is it can be iffy to be shipped, but they're very easy to propagate. This is the status of what I was able to save and lots of new growth. I definitely love Tritoscantias and I know that shows on the channel. I have many and I will do updated collective videos very soon. My goal is to film them before I go home to Hawaii in six weeks. I actually thought I was going to go home to Hawaii last month but they keep pushing the travel ban back for people to enter the state of Hawaii and I actually booked my flight for two weeks from now but then what, the big island where my grandma's at where I'm from is not ready to have people arrive with a negative test only the island of Oahu so I pushed my flight one whole month back so I will be going home right before Thanksgiving to see my family and hopefully uh, do other things as well for the channel and for my new art adventure so stay tuned for that. Like the videos are very fun for me to make because I never see like all of my Tritoscantias grouped up in one video or Philodendra and Sensivarias and the collection grows every month so stay tuned for that but sound off in the comments down below if you have the tricolor and do you find this to be a rare plant. I've never seen this plant uh, for sale in California or Nevada so this is definitely rare for me I love it a lot so let's see what it looks like at the end of the year one, the painted lady philodendron look at this so much growth and I do turn the plant like every other day so that it can stand tall as you see it's trying to lean towards my bathroom diffuse lighting of my shower so this does live full time in my bathroom and I'm very happy about the progress like I'm really actually like very surprised when I first got it I think it was only two leaves and then all of this is new growth I think this and this might be the original leaves and all of the rest is new growth there's even a little baby leaf there this is my favorite thrifted planter and also my peperomia obtusifolia this is also a thrifted planter these two I believe I got in Arizona they're one of my top five thrifted planters I ever got for the collection so just wanted to mention another that another one from the same subscriber for our plant trade my monstera peru i shared this in the thursday check-in the update i think when i got it maybe two other cuttings didn't make it and then these two leaves made it and it hasn't given me any signs of growth until recent when i came back from las vegas take a look at this so I'm really happy with this update. It lives on my plant shelf in between my toilet and my sink. And I have my humidifier there. 
and I have a bunch of fun things there so if you haven't watched the plant tours go ahead and check it out I want to say maybe since my summer 2020 plant tour 80% of the plants in that plant tour is still in the bathroom but I do switch things out as things get bigger or more plant babies come into the collection but I want to say I'm gonna just keep this one in the bathroom my bathroom trends around 80% humidity without the humidifier on so it is very humid in the bathroom it's definitely the greenhouse of my space and I know I also mentioned this plant as well as a Thursday check-in but take a look at this it's finally starting to unfurl and I'm just gonna prune this leaf off because it doesn't make sense for me to keep it anymore when I was first gifted this plant for my subscriber there was two leaves one of them yellowed like this shortly after I got it and then here it is again that's the only thing with alocasia some of them like they can't hold more than two leaves maybe three leaves at a time and then I have like these guys here where they just thrive and have tons of babies so it's just like every alocasia is different especially like the variegated ones sometimes they revert back to green so if you are new to plants, maybe kind of stick away from alocasias unless you want to try your hand on a very finicky plant. This is one of them. So after this video, I'm going to just prune this leaf off and then we'll see what happens after that. So I'm so happy about this because when I got the plant, I was really nervous that I wasn't going to like do it justice. But here we are a couple months later. A so new this leaf. is the Statliana. Correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And this is another headache plant. I had did a trade with the same subscriber. All of the cuttings didn't make it. And then we did another trade and she gave me more cuttings. And some of them didn't make it and this is what I could get to survive. There's a, some new growth happening here. Like if you look down in here, there's a new leaf here. Um, and a few new leaves that popped up here and here. So uh, shout out to myself for managing to save what little survived from the propagation i don't know why it never rooted on me it's very unfortunate i think i have maybe three to five maybe six cuttings in moss in the bathroom i'm hoping it'll root up that way because it just did not want to root up in water so here is the status of what i was able to manage to save and the new growth so that's all of the plant babies in the bathroom. Now I have one more plant that is hanging outside on my studio door. And because this is a very old studio, it has that wire door. There's two doors, the wooden door and then the wire patio door. And I can hang plants on there. So if you haven't watched any of my plant tours, you will see uh, four hanging plants on my door. And I could never do that if it was a modern door. So shout out to this older door for housing plants. Let me bring down one plant that is doing really good in that part of the collection. Here it is. This is my Hoya Carnosa. And I want to share with you all of this new growth. Like take a look at this. This is all new. This is all new. This is new. Every single section is doing so great. Take a look at this. Uh, comment down below how do you style your Hoyas do you like to stick them up and let them kind of like grow over something or do you just let them trail I'm trying to think I think most of my Hoyas are trailing um, but I guess it just depends on how you like seeing your Hoyas but this one is doing so good every single section is giving me lots of new growth and I'm always constantly checking for spider mites because sometimes they like to hide in the collection and I want to try to always catch it if I can but the plant looks happy but I wanted to at least highlight one of my Hoyas I know my Hoya obovada is doing so so good same thing has lots of new growth but that is going to wrap up another pot of fame for the month of September as we enter October. Sound off in the comments down below if you love the pot of fame and what plant is currently giving you new growth. I would love to know in the comments down below. I hope this inspires you to try new plants and never stop adding more green in your space. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel, Monday to Thursday and the vlog channel. Friday to Sunday, you get a video each and every day. I will see you for another pot of fame in a month from now. We'll see what I'm wearing. Maybe it might be a vintage pullover or maybe another bikini. You never know with this weather here in Santa Monica, but it's gorgeous here in the 80s. 
I am going to be gearing up for my first flea market. I can't believe I am going to be vending a handful of my plant babies from the collection along with my resin art announcements on the channel when I'm going to be vending. My goal is to vend once or twice a month while I'm in town and it'll be fun to meet the community, talk plants, share some plant babies from the collection up for adoption along with all of my resin art. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. I will see you soon. Until next time, aloha from sunny Santa Monica, California. Bye!